Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to show you something a little different this week. No, it's not this kit. You might remember this. This is my um, my uh, heavy metal Corvette that I'm building. Um, we're getting closer, as you can see here. Real whoa! As you can see, our pilot is really where the holdup is, and trying to get him to to fit properly into the Corvette, which is pretty difficult because he's very big for the Corvette, even though he's the same scale. But that's not what we're here to talk about. I put this here to give you something to look at while you listen to my lips flap. A couple weeks ago, a friend of mine, an acquaintance through my son's Boy Scout troop, um, invited me to his house to see some slot car racing. He had talked to him about it for a while with me and everything. It was pretty con It sounded pretty neat. So finally I had a chance to go and I took my uh, seven-year-old with me that time and the guys in his club were really cool. They let my son play with their cars, which is, you know, I mean, it's some expensive cars. Um, raced the track and everything like that, and he had a blast. Well, my son is a little shy. He doesn't really talk to strangers very often. Even people that he's known for a while, he has a tendency to be real shy. Um, but the gentleman that, um, that took us to his house that time... Um, we were waiting for him one day. He he was at Boy Scouts and he was looking for him, looking for him. And when the guy finally came, he went right up to him and asked if he could go back and, you know, race cars with him. Well, the guy was really pleased by it. And one thing led to another. And this weekend, he comes by the meeting and he drops this to me. He gives me this kit. What this is, is a BBR model slot car kit this is really neat I mean I'm not really into these slot cars yet yet but this is a basic slot car you can get these slot cars from what I understand completely assembled ready to go but you also have the option for the adventurous ones to buy a kit with a white body where you can build the kit yourself and of course paint it so he had given me this kit in order for me to build, for one, to build it, and two, to see what I could do when it came to painting this thing. These kits are kind of expensive. I mean, you see here, this is a, you know, a $39 kit originally, $40. It was, you know, on sale for $32. But uh, it's kind of a neat kit. This is a Ferrari, as you can see here. It's a F43 Challenger, or Challenge Ferrari. I don't know much about Ferrari, so I can't really say, but... 132 scale. It's got 31 parts in here. Okay, and you got to assemble this sucker. It comes with a display case, which is really nice. Underneath, there is some of the parts. I mean, look at those parts. The detail on the wheels for the scale is pretty small. And you can see here, I'm going to open this sucker up, but look at the detail on that brake disc. It's got the slots and holes in there and everything. This is really cool. I'm going to reposition this camera. We're going to pop this open. We're going to take a look at it. See what it's like on the inside. Be right back. Okay, so when you open up the box, again, it comes with a display case, so when you're done, you could properly store and protect your car. That's a really cool idea. Somebody in the model industry should do something like that. Throw a kit, uh, case in there, build your model, put it in the case. When you're done, that's fantastic. Um, it comes with this placard of what the car could look like. Okay, basically, I believe this is the car that you're supposed to build. Okay, it comes with these two bags. Okay, you got this one with the wheels and everything. I decided I'm not ready to build this yet, so I'm not going to open this. It's just there's just so many little parts in here, gears. You can see the gears, the wit, the rims, some really small screws and stuff. I'm afraid to lose any of it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on opening this bag until I'm ready. But you know, it's pretty neat all the parts that are in there. The second bag, 
This one looks like it contains interior pieces and even a driver. I mean, those are hands. That looks like a helmet right there. So you can actually make a pilot or a pilot thinking back to back to the uh, heavy metal Corvette there. But um, some also some parts wrapped in tissue paper here. I'm not sure what they are. Oh hell, let's look at it. Take a look, huh? Back you up. Wow. A lot of small stuff in here. Okay, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, I think I know what this is. These might be the glass, the the, pl the clear plastic. But you've got a very simplistic, basic tub here, interior. You see the top of the dash. It's not like full depth because underneath here is where your motor is going to sit. The electric motor. So, okay. Side scoops for the car. Steering wheel. It is a pilot figure, or it is a driver figure. You got his arms, head. We'll be in here. I know we're in, we're out, we're in, we're out. It's all over the place. Okay, so you got his head. Not sure what that is. And as you can see here, there's a lot, a lot of really small parts in there. I don't even know where to begin assembling all those parts. It's a lot of parts. So we're going to be very careful not to lose those. Um, you saw the wheels. The wheels are rubber. Basic rim. Whoops basic rim and then you've got these rims that will go on the outside okay axles in there now the car itself is still attached to the base it's screwed in so let's see what else we got here there's stuff packed under that shell okay we'll save that too we don't know if that's going to be used later so now you can see we got the underside of the car and it's got an inline motor, electric motor, it's magnetized here, you can feel it. You've got your uh, pin for the slots, your, your felts, so it's going to take one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine screws to get this off. There's more parts underneath. Let me uh, get into this and we'll see what else we got under there. There's some bags there, so let's take a look. Be right back. Okay, so three screws, one here, here, and under here. Okay, and then the chassis falls off. And again, you can see the big motor it's got here. It's actually a pretty hefty piece of metal. Okay. Um, so that's what it looks like. You can see your wires for the brushes. Okay, they go down underneath this hole down and into the motor. Pretty neat. Okay. And we've got, I'll get to the body in a second, but what we had underneath it is before you saw over here, you saw the uh, interior. Uh, for the seats and everything for the for the driver and this is I assume your engine bay That's going to go back behind here like so Okay, and you've got a roll cage that was what was underneath that so This kits really kind of neat. I'm really curious to see how it goes together. Oh and silly me lastly we got the body of the Ferrari 430. Um, 
I'm no expert on Ferraris, but it looks like a Ferrari. Okay. Looks pretty neat. The scoops here are what we saw earlier over here. That's what these are here. They're going to go there. Um, it's got some logos on it, but it was from what the gentleman explained to me, it was meant to be painted to your tastes. Or, again, you can do it like this if you want, as opposed to just buying it off the shelf like this. It does come with a decal sheet. Decal sheet's pretty simplistic. It's got some white decals uh, down here. I think they're tired logos and stuff like that. Um, you've got some um, you know, Ferrari logos, Shell logos, stuff like that. Just basically the same logos that you're seeing here on the car. Okay. So you can put these and turn it into that. So that's pretty neat. I said I've never done a slot car before. I think it's pretty neat. Something cool to try. It kind of reminds me of the um, the 20th scale uh, AMX that I had stumbled across a couple about a year ago. Uh, I did a review on that kit. Um, so anyway, I just thought I'd share this with you guys. Something a little different. It's not your typical model kit, but it's still a model kit nonetheless. It's something that you can put together, you can paint it, and then, unlike most of us who build our models and put them on a shelf, you can race this sucker. You can actually take your creation and go and race the hell out of it against other people. That's pretty neat. So, that's it for now. So, till next time, be strong.